Welcome back. If you just joined us, we've been looking at the reforms in Nigeria's post service sector. And the Postmaster General, Barrister B.C. Adeboye, says that the Nile Post will be unbundled into five major diversifying units. And the big question is can he implement this reform before 2017's first quarter? Well, it's just a couple of months from now. Don't go away, as we'll be back with more questions on his reform agenda of the postal service sector in Nigeria. Now let's come to the issue of these four special anti-corruption postage stamps. Um, you seem to be managing an institution that has a high level of corruption index that is perceived by Nigerians. So what does this four postage stamps represent? What does it entail and how is it expected to work? You know, it's just part of the entire gamut of um, programs and strategies that we have to deploy to wage war against corruption. If from our from end, we need to block leakages, wastages, reduce wastages. That in itself is a form of anti-corruption measures and strategies. Because uh, corruptions, the corruption takes place when there are opportunities for people to cut corners in terms of uh, wastages, leakages, and all of that. But as you know, the way against corruption is uh, is a total and all-encompassing one. Uh, you made reference to the fact that uh, the corruption is endemic in Naipos. It's everywhere. I've said it earlier on, and I think it bears repetition that Naipos is just a microcosm of Nigeria. It mirrors Nigeria. And therefore, we have subscribed, we have keyed into the agenda of the present government to wage war against corruption. And as you know, having regard to my pedigree and where I'm coming from, and from the private sector, I, I have been given an opportunity now to walk my talk. And in line with the agenda of the present government that has zero tolerance for corruption, we, we, we really don't have any choice other than to key into it. Now, I'm interested in how the special anti-corruption postage stamp is going to work. Uh, what does it really entail? What, what, it, what it entails is just media advocacy, enlightening our people on the ills of corruption, letting our people know the deleterious effect of corruption. Don't give bribe, don't uh, 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 engage yourself in fraudulent activi activities. These are, these are the messages. Uh, and it, it, it's, it's a way of internationalizing the war against corruption. We are taking it out of the domain of Nigeria into the domain of other countries of the world who are members of Universal Postal Union. When you assumed office as the Postmaster General of the Federation, you said the biggest task before you was to plug into financial leakages. How do you intend to achieve this? This is just to deploy technology. That is what is done all over the world. And we have seen other countries of the world adopt this. We, if we deploy appropriate technologies in terms of uh, tracking and tracing all our mails, putting into uh, uh, putting processes in place, you know that technology would you know aid us in that in that regard. Manual operations are by nature very prone and vulnerable to manipulation. But when you put processes in place, cutting the technology, it's not going to eliminate corruption, but it will drastically reduce it. So we have seen in, in, in other jurisdictions it has worked, and there's no reason why Nigeria should not also subscribe to it. In terms of job creation, what are your projections in terms of how many jobs that are to come up from NIPOST? It may be difficult for me to tell you in specific terms the quantity of jobs we are going to create. But as we grow, as we expand capacity, we will need more hands. As we go into e-commerce business that is huge, a lot of people will be employed. Uh, it may interest you to know that even mere collaboration with other sister agencies of government will create employment opportunities. For instance, we're about um, entry into some kind of collaboration with Federal Road Safety Corps of Nigeria on delivering of you know driver's licenses to people. 
we have the comparative advantage and the reach to do that. That in itself will create job. The multiplier effect of what NIPOS can do in terms of job creation is enormous. When we increase um, our productive base. Now let's come to the issue of boosting revenue, which you've also highlighted as part of your reform plans. Uh, you said the institution is capable of yielding 1 trillion naira annually. So how do you intend to achieve this? Now I didn't say that. It's been in the public domain yeah, based on the projection that uh, we're, we're likely to generate the money from stamp duties. But I need to explain certain areas of this uh, issue called stamp duties. By virtue of uh, the, uh, the, the Nigeria uh, Postal Act of 2004, as you know, um, postal matters are in the exclusive list. It's a federal matter. And by virtue of the enabling law, NIPOS has the authority and the power to sell its stamp, either electronically or by fixing our DESI postage stamp of 15 naira into commercial documents evidencing transaction in, ex in excess of a thousand naira. That's a, that's a veritable source of revenue. So how much exactly do you think NIPOS could deliver annually to the Federation accounts? I can't give you a word. Until such a time when there are some challenges out there, some people have instituted action against uh, NIPOS, and I reckon that the uh, Supreme Court at the appropriate time would, you know, clear the course and deliver judgment. We're also uh, pushing for the amendment of the Stamp Duties Act by the legislature in order to make um, all the provisions of the Act very explicit, very clear. There's every need for us to look at other areas where we can generate money in order for the government of the day to be able to fund its laudable programs. Therefore, what I can say is that uh, a huge amount of revenue will be generated from that. I can't put, I can't put a figure to it. Uh, before we wind down this conversation, tell us about the reform of the night post saving banking services. We can use the post to reduce poverty. We can, re we can use the post to create wealth. How do we go about it? young entrepreneurs that are out there who are very knowledgeable and hardworking would have to see how we can partner with NIPOS in order to take some of these costs away from them. For instance, in the areas of delivery, there's no institution, no company, no competitor, competitor of ours has a kind of reach that we have all over Nigeria. If you take the cost of delivery away from a young entrepreneur, you are reducing his cost. And when, once you reduce cost, you are growing its profit. That's one area that we must urgently collaborate with our people. Barista Bisi Adebui, Postmaster General of the Federation, thank you very much indeed for making our time to be part of this episode of Question Time. Thank you very much indeed. When last did you make use of Nigeria's postal office? Well, Many are most likely to recall an old tradition that's more of a relic of a lost age. Well, I might just shock you. A couple of my colleagues and I recently got a surprise mail through NIPOST, which contained a letter from someone about our programs. But today, you would not be sending us comments through the post office, but on our various social media platforms showing on your screen. Perhaps not until the federal government implements the NIPOST reforms. Well, on this note, we say thank you for being a part of the program on Question Time from Channels Television. I'm Benga Ashuru. Bye for now.